As you can see, I have two flywheels before me. One is a Jaguar S-Type. It is the 10 millimeter dowel. There is also the part number right there for it. It's the XR836477. This is going to go inside a Lincoln LS. Uh, for those who are probably watching this video know you can no longer get the Lincoln LS manual flywheel for the car. And through some forums that were kind of inconclusive, uh, they didn't really state the part number. In fact, you can use the S-Type flywheel. As once again, there is the part number. So anybody who is lucky and unlucky at the same time to have one of the 2,000 or so Lincoln LS's made with the manual 5-speed that is having a hell of a time finding a flywheel for that car, this is the conclusive evidence that shows that the Jaguar S-Type with the 10 millimeter dowels, make sure you use a measuring tool to make sure. I don't know what years um, the 10 millimeter dowels were used. There's a 6 millimeter version uh, as well. So I don't know if it was just 2000. This is going into 2000. Um, or if the 2002 had 6 miller. I don't know. Make sure you measure the dowels. Uh, otherwise, you could find the wrong flywheel. Um, the flywheel cost about $700 that's shipped. Um, I got it through Cher Terry's Jaguar. Spoke with a guy named Zach who helped me get it ordered. Um, fast shipping took about three days to get to me from placing the order. And uh, so far, uh, just by, uh, you know, face-to-face -face or, or looking directly at it, um, the line's up perfectly. Same amount of uh, teeth on the, the, the starter grind plate here along the side. Um, same bolt holes. Measured the dowels. Dowels are all the same. Uh, here's a kind of the difference. As you can see, this one barely moves at all. And when you press down on it, other than hearing the table wobble. Uh, no sound, this is the old one. If you look down here close, you can see where um, the seal for the, the bearing, or the bushing right here, has gone. Um, like a lot of dual mass flywheels, which are just stupid to begin with, uh, has some play in it, a little bit more play when it's actually bolted up and I'm actually able to turn on it. But it also does this. Considerable amount of side wobble play. Um, once I get it put in, we'll see if it fixed the, the crazy vibration and the clutch failure that would happen intermediately, and uh, we'll see how it goes.